I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can connect me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page and you'll get all the latest information from me. I finished all the transactions in sales module, so I'll continue with customer module. So I start with invoice. A lot of people will ask, what's the difference between invoice over customer module and sales module? Basically, the three module over here is accounting. The three at the bottom is stock. Over here, you can only choose stock. Over here, you only can choose account. If you create a sales invoice over here, you will directly post to your customer side invoice. You do not need to rekey in your invoice over the customer side. So if you want to skip the sales invoice where you do not want to select the item, you can directly key under customer invoice. Say as normal, go to new, select customer. So company is highlighted, so meaning you're using company name as a searching criteria. Then over here, you just select the account. As I always mention, if under the chart of account in GL, the way you maintain your account is according to my rules. So it's very easy for you to search the account. You do not need to remember the account code because like now, I'm using the account name to do the searching. So select the sales account, then key in the amount. Done. If the invoice have few items and you only have one sales account, what you need to do is just key in the total amount of that invoice instead of selecting individual sales account one by one. There's another scenario where you are keying in a transaction or a customer invoice for a previous year before the opening. It's something like this. So you are keying a invoice in 2008. It will automatically change to past invoice where you only need to key in the total amount and you do not need to sales account because it will actually automatically go to GL maintain opening under your current asset trade debtors the customer side so basically you key in an invoice if you have any questions you may you can always contact me with this information thank you